Hey, yo, cheetah. What's up? I got a date with this girl. She's obsessed with Harry Potter, and I don't know shit. Alright, take a seat and I'll inform your ass. In the wizarding world, there was a boy who lived in Voldemort, tried to kill him all up in his crib. Who's Voldemort? He's the villain, man. Motherfucker so bad, they can't say his name. That's really bad, had the boy survive. It was his mama's love for him that kept him alive. So he had to go live with his aunt and uncle. Were they wizards too? Nah, they was muggles. What the hell does muggle mean? It's people who were born without the magic gene. Oh. Anyway, a few years later, this piece of shit uncle goes to get the morning paper. And then a bunch of owls start wreaking havoc. Dropping letters from Hogwarts to school for magic. What did those letters say? That Harry's really magic in that one day. If he goes to Hogwarts, he could be a real wizard. Eating chocolate frogs, sipping pumpkin juice, scissor. How does he get to the special place? The Hogwarts Express, it's a magic train. But wait, we skipping ahead, he's gotta buy some stuff. Like an owl in a wand for his magic, bruh. Where do wizards go shopping? Diagon Alley, with groundskeeper Hagrid, he's big and he's shaggy. Cool! Alright, let's get back to the train. But we meet Ron Weasley and Hermione Grange. Ron's real poor and Hermione's real intelligent. Later they fuck, but right now that's irrelevant. So what happens when they get to the school? The kids form a line and they sit on a stool and then they put on a hat and the hat starts speaking. What does it tell them? Which house they gon' be in? What are the houses? Shit, they got four. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Harry and his friends get put in the ladder and then we introduced to the fucking headmaster. What's his name? Albus Dumbledore, the greatest wizard alive. But hold up, there's more. You got Severus Snape. He's the head of house Slytherin where Harry's arch nemesis Draco just slithered in. Who's Draco? He sounds mean. He's a racist little pompous ass wizard preteen. Jeez. Alright, so now that the school year starts, they taking potion charms and defense against the dark arts and Harry's talents looking rare than some steak tartar. You can tell this little wizard kid is gonna go far. Wow, does he have any extracurriculars? Yeah, I forgot to mention one in particular. It's a sport wizard's play called Quidditch, my dude, where you play with some balls while you fly in a broom. Cool. So one day they playing a game on the pitch and Harry's job as a seeker is to capture the snitch, but his broomstick starts getting shaky as hell and Hermione catches Snape while he's muttering spells. So he's fucking with Harry. It seems that way, but Harry overcomes it and he wins the game. Yay! So the next day in class, Professor Quirrell starts teaching with a stuttering ass. Who's Professor Quirrell? He's a bitch ass fool and he fainted when a troll came up in the school. What a loser. I right, fast forward to Christmas and Harry gets a gift he didn't put on his wish list. What did he get? A cloak to make him invisible going places in the school that wasn't permissible. Like where? A room with a mirror that reveals all his deepest desires like his parents who were kids. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when parents are dead. Oh, I forgot to mention Fluffy, the dog with three heads. Whoa. But this ain't the kind of dog you give a bone. Rumor is he's gotten something called the Sorcerer's Stone. What's that? It makes the elixir of life that helped Nick Flamel live to 665. But Harry and the gang think Snape's ass is after it. So they go out to preemptively capture it. <gasps> but it looks like they went step behind. Cause Snape left the magic harp to play a lullaby. They got Fluffy out cold. Yeah, that puppy was snoozing. The kids better hurry cause they already losing. No! Before they can get to the stone, they gotta fight plans and put a flying key in the dough. It doesn't sound that hard. Just wait for the rest. These motherfuckers gotta win a game of chess. <gasps> They win cause Hermione and Ron sacrifice themselves so that Harry can go on Into the last room where the stone resides He thought he'd find Snape but to his surprise It's stammering, stuttering Professor Quirrell The last wizard he expected in the whole world No way! Yeah, shit's crazy as hell Turns out Quirrell was only helping somebody else Who? A dude that we thought was dead Fucking Voldemort was living on the back of his head Holy fucking shit! Yeah, I know and there's something else there, the mirror from before. Whoa. But this time when Harry's staring, he doesn't see either of his dead ass parents. Instead he sees himself holding onto the stone and it appears in his pocket like a cellular phone. Yay, Harry won! Wait, not so fast, Professor Quirrell and Big V about to beat that ass. But when Quirrell touches him, he starts burning up. 
Cause Harry's still protected by his dead mom's love So Quirrell turns to ash and Voldemort flies away To hatch up a plan to come back one day Is Harry okay? Yeah, he's just fine He wakes up with Dumbledore right by his side And everything's cool and that's the end of book one Wait, there's more? Hell yeah, we ain't done